Hello, Earthlings! So I, uh, hope you all enjoyed your Thanksgiving, and, uh, hope you're better at showing gratitude than me, because, um, I'm not the worst, but I'm clearly not the best. Anyway, I'm starting this vlog on Thanksgiving, because I'm about to head to New York for the weekend. You know, some people call it the Big Apple. I prefer to think of it as the wet tomato. You know, the concrete jungle wet dream tomato. No? Uh, okay. In other news, I haven't actually gotten the chance to meet up with Max, because uh, his phone was acting weird and he couldn't actually communicate with me, so we're going to try to meet up sometime next week after we get back. So uh, yeah, hopefully this time it'll work out. Alright, I'm in the hotel now. We just got back from dinner at a place in Little Italy called Il Cortile. 
Hopefully tomorrow we'll have Wi-Fi in the room, because at the moment we don't, so we'll see about that. Alright, it's Friday now, and um, the hotel has been having problems with its Wi-Fi network for quite a few days now. We're, we're just going to use the lobby. We're just going to go down to the lobby to use the Wi-Fi when we need it. Mountain. I could probably find out where it leads to on Google. It's Saturday now. We uh, we just saw Wicked last night. As a guy who makes puns, I'm contractually obliged to say it was Wicked good. Uh, but but it was uh, quite good. I uh, highly recommend seeing The Wizard of Oz first, so you get all the jokes. But, again, it was pretty good. Alright, we're in Coney Island now. Over there, that's the original Nathan's. And over here... That's where the Marx Brothers first performed. Although, when they uh, performed there, it was called the Henderson Building, and it was run by my mom's grandfather and great-grandfather. It isn't so dull as when they first tore it down. So we just had lunch with an old friend of my mom's. I don't think I mentioned that my parents uh, are here with me. It, it was actually my dad's idea to come to New York for Thanksgiving. 
But anyway, we had lunch with an old friend of my mom's. Uh, she's staying at her daughter's family's place in Brooklyn. Uh, we had lunch at a nearby Shake Shack, kind of the in and out of the East Coast, um, I guess. I mean, my burger was a bit salty, but it was still pretty good. Um, I call everything pretty good. I called Wicked pretty good, and it was more than pretty good. I'm an understatement kind of guy. But we're about to go to the Village Vanguard to see Jason Moran, so that should be fun. Well, we're back now. And, um, yeah, Jason Moran was great. He, he has a real sort of spiritual aura to his stage presence. He performed the last number in a uh, Fats Waller mask, although he didn't really make an attempt to do Fats Waller's voice. He just said in a, in a kind of historical way, I am Fats Waller, Thomas Fats Waller. I'm from Harlem, and they scattered my ashes all over Harlem, so I'm still here. And, uh, so that was something. It, you know, it was a lot more amazing than I make it sound. That was some footage from the train back here to Boston. I don't think there's really much more to say. Um, oh, before uh, before I took the train back home, we did uh, ride the subway a bit to see a couple of subway Easter eggs. There's one where if you're taking the Q line from DeKalb to Canal, uh, you get to see a little bit of stop-motion animation on the way. I think it's called the Mass Transoscope. And uh, the other Easter egg we saw was, uh, even though it's closer to Christmas than Easter, was uh, if, you, uh, if you take the six line to the Brooklyn Bridge Station and then stay in the train as it turns around, it's going to go through a station that's no longer in use, uh, which is the City Hall IRT station. There's footage of both on YouTube. I'm gonna post a uh, Christmas theme song this Thursday, so stay tuned for that, but until then, go forth and be awesome. <laughs>